wins. Yeah, first game. Uh, card? This is the first win for player one. Round one. Fight! Holly wins. Alright, so now we're one more. Yeah. I will say if Otto can win here, it would it would be the upset. So I'm it's probably for a good match. Round one. Fight!
Holly wins. Wins. Don't worry. Round one. Fight. Round one.
really wasn't expecting this. If, if there's anything Player like that, we do turn this around. I really got to figure out where Crescent Moon is from. See, it's a really good ball rock play. I like the way he's fading out those Fight. tech throws. Pretty much just keeping the pressure on. There we go, the grab. Okay. I like that neutral game right there. Okay, fighting out of the corner. Let's go. Get back to that neutral. See if he can get any mix-ups or anything going, really. He just needs to get a knockdown on ball rock. And again, he, he can take those. Go back to the corner. That's really risky. That EX works. I mean, it's always a good decision if it works. There we go. Hey, what the hell? Round two. About that the rest of the rounds gonna be worried about that EX. Let's see if Lacquerhead can kind of capitalize on that. Alright, so push you right back to that corner. Let's see, I wonder if he's gonna yeah, exactly he's gonna try something to get out of that corner. He has no meter right now. Okay, the new push up. Very good, very good. Let's see what we have here. I think they're both kind of questioning what the other one's gonna do. Bump ball rock worried about that EX headbutt. I'm worried about that. Okay, so we're back in the corner. Let's see if we can get some pressure on him. Keep him. Really? If I'm ball wrong, I'm going to go for a couple of jabs and then try and fade out an EX headbutt. I, I, I feel it coming. Exactly. There we go. But it works. Let's see, Mike. With the mix up, let's see if we can go from here. Oh, no grab. Great tag. No, everybody knows this, but back ahead needs to take this round. Headbutt again. Grab and see the mix up. Perfect. Okay. So we have it 2 1. Let me see that. Yurian wins. Oklahoma City Warriors. Uh, 3 1 comeback, but 2 0 comeback. This is the second win for player one. See, kind of think about the matchup. Round one. Let's see what we have next. Fight. Started off with a headbutt. I like ball rock and turn your buttons afterwards. You take a lot of people to make. Alright, so we're starting off in the neutral game here. Where are we going to rate anti air? By the pressure moon. Where we have to grab, put it in the corner. Uh, that was a mistake right there. You don't want to headbutt yourself into the corner, especially against ball rock. Uh, but he's fighting his way out. Uh, right there. Great neutral jump. Can capitalize, but that was a great decision. Faded out that tech grab. Okay. Lacquer head. Uh, and he keeps putting himself in the corner. Okay, there we go. Great grab. Yeah, switch. Switch it. There we go. That's another another win right there. After being down 2-0, Blackerhead wins one more round. He ties it up. Let's see if we can do it here. Okay, so we're going with the EX to start it off. Try and catch him walk towards the button. Brush counter in the corner. But Lacquerhead has all the meter in the world. Let's see if he tries here. Ah, he dropped it. Let's see here. Great EX out of the corner. Right even if he blocks it, he can really get afterwards. He got the stun. Lacquerhead's dialing on him now. Let's see if he come back. He is not trying to lose this. From being down 2 0, oh, it's now 2 2. Let's see if he can pull it out. Round one. Okay, going straight back into the match. Let's see, this is it. Game point and match. Okay, I'm getting him in the corner. I like that guy. Uh, switching it back up. Lacquerhead has the corner pressure now. Yes, he's going to capitalize. Puts himself in there going for the mix up. And that mix up hasn't worked yet. Honestly, I don't know if I keep going over. Kind of lost his composure a little bit. Uh, we'll 
see. We'll see, we'll see what he can do. Well, he's get, he has the corner now. I mean, right now is the time. He has all the meters in the world. Oh, that's perfect neutral drum. And he dropped it. Like I said, he, he, he's losing his composure. That could have been it right there. He has a full super meter. Oh, is, is that a punish? No, no, that's not the punish. See, right there, Crescent Moon, he had the match. He dropped it. He had all the meter. He could have comboed into super. That would have been it. But now he's down around. Is, is he rattled? Is, is that it? Let's see if he can pull something else out. To, uh, there we go. Let's, let's do this. Okay, so Lacquerhead starting in again with the neutral jump combo. He, he, Mike's going to convert everything. You, you, you can't have missed opportunities against a guy like that. Okay, so Balrog and Crescent Moon. Has that corner again. He has meter. He has oh perfect right there overhead. Let's see. Let's see if he can keep the pressure. Bait, bait, I like that. Okay. He didn't get caught too bad. Oh, this is the bad situation to be in. Okay, perfect. Neutral jump. He has to finish it. He has to finish it right here. No drop. There we go. Great job, Crescent Moon. We're bringing it back to the very last round. Oh man, this could doesn't go either way. I don't know. Let's see. Really, it's gonna come down. Can we can get that pressure? We can't see any draw combos. Bring that neutral catch from Balrog, starting it off strong. Mike coming back with the neutral, punishing the headbutt. Let's see corner pressure. Ah, again, you can't drop that. You at the very least have to make it attack. You can't win. Now he goes for the leg sweep. It gets blocked and punished. Going for those neutral ones. It's all about this next block right here. What can Balrog do? Nothing, and he takes it. Lacquerhead takes the day. So I'm, 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 after seeing these tournaments, I'm gonna get myself back into it. No, it, it, it's good. The, the thing about the man, I love it. It takes too long, man. Yeah. But um, I, I love you know, taking people's heads off and stuff. But um, let me get this uh, the next group uh, going, and I'll be back right now. Okay. But yeah, so we got DSB versus Maximo here. So it looks like we have DSB rocking Chun Li, Maximo rocking Colin. Okay, I'm really excited to see this. You don't see a lot of call-ins out there in the tournament scene, so let's see if we can get started. And I like those conversions, getting those setups. Uh, the, oh, wow, with the counter. See, that, that's the one thing you don't see a lot. Uh, the call-ins you do see, I don't see a lot of countering, but he's going in right now. Has them frozen, nothing he can do. This is looking pretty free, this first match. And I, I know these two are friends, so I don't know if these are two who play each other a lot. Who normally, oh, baited it out. The EX spinning bird kick, and that's going to be it. DSV going in. But yeah, like I said, these two are friends. I don't know if they play a lot. It looks like something he's used to seeing, the EX bird kick, the way he baited that out. Oh, Paul, and more conversions, more conversions. Oh, look who we have coming up to the stream. Right. We got Paul Zemi. Christian Ken. Yes, like Christian Ken. I've actually, uh, I've played a little bit of Colleen, so maybe I can commentate on Oh, perfect. I was saying I don't really know a lot yeah, about Colleen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so this one might be ending pretty quick here. Yeah, DSB's um, been... That's a little tricky, yeah. Blitzing him. Uh, low forward is interesting. It's really slow. It's eight frames, plus one on blood. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, man, so much to say. <laughs> yeah, should have converted on that. Okay. But yeah. I, I know these two are friends, so it looks like from what I was seeing in the first match, they kind of know how they're playing. They he was baiting out a lot okay. of EX spinning bird kicks. Well, that didn't surprise like that. me too much because it's two one. It's not like it's, uh, it's not like the bulldozing or anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, as far as this matchup, I would guess that maybe it's a little even. You know. Uh, I, of course, I wouldn't know for sure, but um, Colleen's got some stuff. Um, you would think that she may, might, might not be able to play it because she, uh, she doesn't have quite the range. Yeah. But she can convert into much more than uh, uh, Chun Li can. And okay, once she actually gets yeah. that. And the V skill is kind of nice because like you can catch like Pierce with it, for example, and uh, some of the pokes. And, okay. Uh, you know, get the corner carry off of it. And especially with Chun Li, they're always going to want to stick that out there. To right. Kind of yeah. Mm -hmm. Or the medium kick or something like that. Although, Maximo seems to be going off to a decent start. That, uh, the V skill is still in his place, though. Man, using that crouch strong is yeah. yeah, that's another thing. He's really, he can actually um, he can combo after the crouch jab. And the corner pressure, see the yeah. mix up we have. That that EX Agnes, that's going to be her go to. Um, it's a one minus four on block, and uh, she gets a lot off of it. Um, okay. Yeah. Ooh, 
Ooh, wow. Stayed in front. Oh, the grab. Yeah, these two definitely happen. know each other. This yeah. Is weird. <laughs> yeah, you only usually see this like this. Yeah. Tommy doesn't have a whole lot to deal with fireballs. Um, she does have the, uh, the the ice skating, I call it. But yeah, yeah that, to kind of get over. That's going to be fireball uh, invulnerable as she goes through it. Um, oh, she uses the medium The version. overhead. Yeah, the overhead was a good choice. It's safe. Yeah. Um, just stick it out there. All you need to sneeze on them. Pretty to kill good range. Him. Yeah, yeah. It's just something to throw out there. A lot of times, especially in this game, you find yourself in situations where you you will have a lead, but you really should go in. You don't want to sit on like you know. It's more likely you're going to take in a trade. If yeah. you block all day, you're giving them a chance to open a big combo. A lot of characters, a lot of characters do that. So. Okay, that makes sense. That's, that's how I live my life. Go in no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he seems to be getting some mileage out of that E-Skill. Um, uh, yeah, oh, I like that good. right there. Yeah, Yeah, because the thing is her sweep is two hits, but when she does the EX dagger... Do it again. Oh, do it again. He's strong. not going to block it. Do it again. I would have done it a third time. I would have oh, done another one. You have to cost him short, though. Um, yeah, her... But you do not want to stun by this character. Uh, she can do some major damage. Oh, yeah. Um, she can combo into that stand on house afterwards. Um, and to like stay a medium punch into any move she wants, pretty much. Okay, uh, okay. Um, but, um, uh, but no, the, the interesting thing about her sweep is the first hit's cancelable on hit. So that's why you'll see them juggle into it. They'll, they'll do the, uh, they'll do the daggers, throw them in the air, and they'll juggle sweep, and you have a couple different options. You can do like medium daggers for corner carry, and, uh, uh you have quite a few options. Alright, mix them up. Alright, well, Christian Kin's up for another match, so I'll be back here by myself. Um, let's see where we're at. Still, uh, DSD's up. Um, that conversion right there, putting him into the corner. Oh, let's see what mix-up we have. Again, if this was me, I haven't seen Maximo block the overhead once. I would keep going for it until he makes me think that he's going to block it. But I, I do like how he... Oh, again, with the counter. But I, I do like the way he's trying to mix it up a little bit. Like I said, that's me. I'm stubborn. Not always right, so don't take my advice on that. But let's see. Let's see where we go from here. Oh, he went for the EX. No conversion. Let's go, Maximo. Let's see what we can do. EX spinning bird kick. No. Oh, that was the wrong time for the overhead. Again, I would keep doing the overhead. If on a not. Oh, the counter to take it. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Like. Like I said, I don't see a lot of Collins, but seeing Collins plan and seeing some counters, which I see even less, I'm loving it. So 2-0 oh, right now, DSB versus Maximum. Like I said, their friend sucks losing to your friend, especially having your friend knock you out of the tournament because you got to keep hearing it from him afterwards. Let's see if Maximo can pull it out. We just, our last match, we had someone down 2-0 who -oh, ran it all the way back and won 3-2. See if maybe we can see the same thing here. I mean, besides the first match, this hasn't been too much of a steamroll, so there's always that chance of a, a comeback. Oh, no, you don't want to do that. Oh, but no punish there. You have to punish it a lot stronger. You got the stun anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but you have to take advantage of those situations. You're playing somebody else a little bit later. Uh, that, that's not something you can let go. But here we go. He's up one round. ESB with the counter again at the very start. See if he can stop playing with his food here and finish it out. Corner pressure. Oh, and the counter again. Beautiful. I'm loving what I'm seeing. Uh, Maximo, really nothing to do. Again, he hits him with that overhead. I'd go for another one right here. Exactly, go for another one. I would keep overheading him until he blocks it. Overhead. Overhead again. Too much, but he's strong in every game that he touches, so I wouldn't be surprised to see some craziness come right here. Uh, this matchup, I'm not too sure who wins this matchup. If I had to guess, I'm going to take Urien probably wins this, but that's my no knowledge having knowledge on that. Uh, but let's see, let's see where we go. They'll, they'll let us know who's winning. So we have Jan already put in Mike in the corner. Uh, Mike's trying to fight out. Confirming. Oh, okay. I'm surprised Jan let that over that overhead rock. Um, he came up raw. Did it. Okay, creating some space here. Got Lacker head in the corner. Oh, with the E eggs. I like that. Okay. 
I go for the mix up. He can turn it around right here. He has all the meter in the world. And, oh, he keeps converting right here. Uh, that was a great B reversal there from Jan. Again, we're back in the corner. All he has to do is sneeze on. Oh, this could be it. This could be it. Yarian's a super explosive character. You let him get anything like that, that could be it. Hey, we have Christian Ken back here. Yeah, just lost. That's okay, the, ah, who'd you lose to? Uh, another Ken player. Oddly enough, I sent him to lose. But, uh, or knocked, I knocked him out at Evo. Okay. Oh, a little weird. <laughs> okay. So, what's the score here? Um, this is the first round. Oh. Uh, Mike, or Lacquerhead, came back, won the first one. It looked like he was going to lose it, but he made a last second. Okay, so so we're just 1-1 one, one in rounds yeah, here. Yeah, 1-1. One, okay, one. Cool. That's it. Well, um, mm. well then the, uh, the onus might really be on uh, Mike to figure this out. Because he's two dominating rounds and he managed to snatch the last one. Yeah. But, I mean, of course, you have Fury, so anything can happen. Yeah. With that makes up going. Sure. And yeah. That's what happened in the first yeah. match. But, but he does have to figure it out. He, he's getting beat in the neutral. He keeps getting put in the corner. Yeah. But finding it right now. There's not much you can do about that. Yeah. You, you just have to take it. Yeah. <laughs> Let him run out of meter. Wow. Oh, reversal. okay. Going for it. Uh, but we didn't really get too much converted out of that. We're back to the neutral game. Let's see what Jan's going to go with from here. Oh, wow. An interesting escape. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't count on that working twice. But it works this time for sure. Hey, at least get him scared of it. Have him thinking about it. Oh, no. Oh, and Jan okay. takes it. So. Jan takes the first round. One. Oh, Jan. Like I said, I was expecting a really good match. Jan is good at every game that he touches. Dude, yeah. So it was actually a little. It was so weird for me when he very first picked up this game. Like he was, it was terrible at it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll say I haven't seen. Like, I'm not gonna name names, but I've, I've seen some, some people. I'm like, dude, some people he shouldn't be losing to yeah. anything. <laughs> yeah. And then I saw him at AB and I'm like, oh, he's got like. Yeah. But, yeah. But, Give him some time. Oh, oh nice wow, going for it. Yeah. A neutral jump would have been better, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that definitely would have been the way yeah, to go. Yeah, the escape is the most important thing. <laughs> so, we back to the punish corner. that. It's still going to crouch jab from something. Yeah. So, uh, that board, that board, uh, that shoulder is not safe. Oh, and the thing is, Mike is using that as a footsie option. Yeah. He's yeah. not doing anything about, about it, so. Yeah. That should be it. Yeah. Mike's really got to turn this around. Um, uh, you know, I know it's only one match, one round, but like, this is a really important round here. This is gonna, this is gonna be the difference in him yeah. being even or having a match. Yeah. So one thing is, actually, two matches ago, uh, Backer had played. He was down 2-0, and he ran it back. Wow. Three, three in a row. Uh, he played. Uh, actually, it was a guy I'd never seen play before. It was okay. a ball rock player. Oh, uh, I think I know who it is. Yeah. yeah. Good on him for making that back though, but yeah, he's in the corner now. And it's Jan, so you don't want to have oh, to no, make a 3-0 comeback. That's back actually almost there. worse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh dude. it worked. Let's see if we can get here. Thing is, oh, oh wow. using that armor that was, overhead. Oh, yes, really yes. Good. You know what? Oh, that's interesting. Because I think Woken Phoenix can end up. Oh, yeah. Because it beats him. Okay. Yeah. But that, that foot was already in the air, so I was surprised that like, the screamer wouldn't have kicked into like a swap or something. But, um, but that was a big round for Black and White. Yeah, really big round. This goes without saying. This is another huge round. He needs to take this, like he said. Yeah. If, if he wins this, he ties it up. So, I mean, all those other Ooh. rounds mean nothing. Oh, that crush counter in the corner. Yep. Uh, if he gets sneezed on, he's done. Yeah, yeah. he can't do well, that. Well, that's actually. Oh. That was, that was really smart. Yeah, just take I, it. Why? You're still going to get the stun? Yeah. The combo? I'm, I'm going to take it straight up. I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, maybe this is one of those things where, like, come on, dude. You don't know. Like, I don't know. I haven't played. <laughs> uh, Jan won. Yeah. So, 2 0 Jan. Yeah. Uh, like I had to have a dig deep here. Yeah, he's going to have to dig deep. Again, like I said, we, we saw him do it first on stream. He came back from 2 0. See if he can do it again. Um, this is going to be a tough hill to climb, uh, but that last one looks like he was starting to build, figure it out a little bit. I don't know. I, I would have instinctively would think that he would have time with him. Yeah, that's actually what I said. I was like, I'm not sure, but I, I, I'm assuming Darian yeah. wins this. 
but that's me being uninformed. I mean, at the same time, it hits so hard. It doesn't make much difference. Yeah. Oh, nice. oh that, that was, was really, really nice. Yeah, meet him in the air. Really don't let him land. Don't let him do anything. Oh, right, Jan? Getting the can to help him out. It's still there. Still in play. Oh, oh. good Let's see. Up. Any mix up. Oh, oh, and no punish. No punish. Well, you don't think about that move. It's super punishable. Oh, okay. Uh, it's not going to kill, though. Wow. Oh, Ooh. great block on the overhead there. Oh. So, okay. I mean, it was, you know, he was, was going to have another reflector. That was really nasty. Right? Yeah. But um, the dude. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't even remember. Yeah, well, to be honest. that's not even important. <laughs> Yeah, this is, uh, let's go ahead. Mike took a round. Mike's better now. That's yeah, sure. he is. No, he's, he's starting to figure it out. Uh, the first round was a little, well, the first match was a little rough. Uh, the second yeah. one, he kind of got it together. He lost two points. Or the third one, he took the first round. Pretty, pretty, pretty slow, but it's pretty good. Going. Oh, yeah. oh no, no, no! I was gonna say the, the bow pull Avenger or whatever it's called. Oh um, yes. The thing is, it's super unsafe, but it does all the block stuff. You have to wait a while before you press it. I can almost guarantee you just doing jab jab something. Yeah, it nothing. Yeah, but he did it too early. He probably just went for like jab tackle. Ooh, he got that a nice wing punish there. there. Oh, he didn't need to release. I can't understand why you might want to do that. It's just part of your instinct. He is gonna have one more right here. Okay. Jam. He does have a bar too, so he has to worry about it. Oh no, too high. Oh. oh, he's in a mix up. Yep. Using it to cover himself. Let's right. see what we have here. Oh. 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 oh that was really good. Was really good. Oh, good oh. block. And the overhead, just like that. Jan's been using it as a footsie tool and he uses it here. Good and range. Out. Yeah. Oh, really, really, really good range. Really good. Uh, this is it. Mike is going to yeah, have to figure he's, something he's, out. Yeah, this is a match point for Jan. Yeah. Oh, that was a really nice dash oh. forward. And he has. That was a really good mix up to like what he was doing previously. Oh, oh. that fierce to really far. Oh, oh the crush. Yep. Let's see, he has the corner, he has the meter. Let's see if we go from here. Mike trying to do something. That is equally safe. <laughs> <laughs> Both of those characters, you just have to take it. Yeah. Nothing basically. you can do about that. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's a good thing he stopped that though. Oh, oh no. Yeah, done. That's it. Yeah, and that's, uh, Jan takes you know, it. that's for sure. Like I said, when it's Jan, Jan, you can expect some good things. Oh yeah, <laughs> I think that character is a little weird. Like, not bad, but I don't think she's good. I don't know, it's weird. Now, nah, Dalton's wrecked. really good. Okay, so Sugi was telling me one of the things that is new is uh, they made it so that Alex's light elbow slash is too. It's actually safe. Oh. And the nice thing about that is, you know, it's negative. He's, it pushes him out where he, he's not like in the risk of a throw ring, you know, in front of him. And, um, he, uh, um, it actually was like, it still pushes you a little bit. It's still pushing you into the corner. Um, ooh, makes that hard. Oh, oh the no, counter. Yeah. Can okay, we have a stun? Ooh, oh, nice escape. Oh, nice yeah, escape. that was a really nice escape. And the funny thing is, he might have been able to catch him still, maybe like an elbow or something, but mm. he didn't have any bars, so that limited his options for sure. Yeah. Assuming you're even ready for it. The thing is, like, you can see Dawson, like, it's just the life of Sim, like, he can win this whole match. And, like, <laughs> Alex gets one close line, it's like, oh. Yeah, you get dead. knocked down. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, like, because of, like, oh, oh that's the example. Like, this example. could be it. This yeah, could be for, it. Well, you know, he's not really going to get the mix up with the man grab. So that's. Ooh, oh. He could have punished that. Yeah. I don't oh, blame that's. Him. Yeah. Just like that. that. Like you said, Sim was winning the entire match. Yeah. He should have fallen with, like, jump jabs there or something. Round two. You okay. Know? Um, it wouldn't have killed Alex, but, you know. But uh, it's just the first match, and we all know. Oh, see, the, the nice thing about that, uh, see, well, one of the things that, that works for Alex is um, Sim, like, his, his jump speed is really slow. He like, falls, and he falls really slow. So it gives you more opportunities to stuff like catch him with the knees. Um, you know, for example, that would work. Um, yeah. You just need to be a little closer. Oh, like see, that. See, he can do that. Ex <laughs> oh, oh, no. Who was it? And we got the pause. So, for the most, for the most part, um, oh, was it a pad? Um, I don't know what's going on. 
looks like whoever played never desync their controller. All right, so this is this is the one of the curses of playing fighting games on PS4. You've got um, when people don't desync their pads. Yeah. Um, you could interrupt a match, and sometimes it can be far, hard to find out who it was, etc. They um, leave. They the lose. Most, and in, go in my somewhere. experience, in my experience, the rules. For <laughs> in, 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 in my experience, the rules for that kind of thing are um, usually really strict. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, like you desync, you, you you forgot to desync your pad and it ruined the match. Um, you're straight to losers, or you're out. You know. Yeah, I've um, seen that where you lose your next match or you lose the first. Right, match it's usually your next usually match. pretty harsh because it's, you know, if you're a pad player, you need to know, you know you need to know that that's a risk. Yeah. Um, but uh, and it really sucks because like you know it's gonna affect their match, and it's not like either of their faults. Yeah. You know. Especially they're in it, they're thinking now all the knowledge they had of that match. Yeah, is the thing is like it, it throws, and there's nothing, and there's nothing to, you you know, sometimes it, like you know if you're not like used to playing fighting games, some people look at a situation like that. And it's like oh you just pick up where you left off, and like it's yeah. not nearly that yeah. simple. Yeah, not uh, at all. Fi fighting games are you know, um, th you know what they might be a little bit more right if fighting game matches took longer, and there was no time limit. But the time limit is like. Um, I didn't realize when I first started playing, like, like, the timer, even if it doesn't, like, you know, because most matches end and that timer's still, like, 50, 60 seconds. Yeah. But, um, but still, even at that point, earlier in the match, it still has an effect on, like, the, the way players make decisions, mm -hmm. you know? If there was no timer, um, defense, strong defensive characters would benefit from that greatly, because you could literally strategize on, like, you know, running out the clock and getting people to make risky decisions and stuff like that. Um, not that I anticipate that too much here, because even though Dawson's going to want to, like, you know, for the most part, keep keep Alex out, um, he still goes in a little bit, and um, if Alex ever touches him, he loses life so fast. But um, and the thing is, y but you, you just can't account for that psychological factor, you know? And there's so many players who just play based on the match who are really momentum based uh, exactly that's kind of what i'm getting changes. at yeah, yeah. Like, like it depends on how the <laughs> match is going <laughs> it's funny you, you're talking about the more important thing and i was hitting the peripheral stuff you know because i'm a bit of a scientist and that's just like how i think about it but figuring out how to right now okay uh, i guess i'm up all right <sighs> shoot i wanted to commentate this match but <laughs> technical difficulties Still here? Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, I play Legacy. So I apologize I have a for PS3 this. PS3 stick. This you difficulty. Have to use the pad and then plug in the stick. So that's probably what the other guy did. They just forgot. This is the culprit. It Who is this? Uh, that's the culprit. This is the culprit. This is the uh, the FIFA guy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the FIFA guy that forgot to that take it sense. off. If you don't play like Street Fighter, you don't think about that. Yeah, you know? he didn't. He had no idea what was going on. Yeah. But hey, we fixed it. We got the FIFA guy off the goddamn stick. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to say that on my own stream. I apologize. I think I cursed. No bad words. No bad words. No bad words. <laughs> it didn't happen. It didn't, it didn't happen. happen. It did not happen. So we're gonna get this going again. How was it? I missed it. Nah, it's, it's been a really good match. Uh, Sugi took the first one. It's one of those things. Rudy's a really good Dawson player. Okay. The way Dawson plays is you have to play solid the entire match. Because if you get hit once and they get in on you, it could be it. That's what happened the first round. So they played this one out? Is that what what, what they just did? Alex I'm wins. guessing so. I'm not going to. I don't know, because I know Sugi won the first match, or the first round before anything happened. Okay. Well, let me go figure that out and go host this thing real quick. I'll be right back, okay? All right, cool, cool. I don't know. I'm not sure if they just played it out. Oh, that you played it out. So it's 1 0, Sugi. So, yeah, they're just playing it out. Sugi won 2 0. I mean, one match. So it's 1 0 right now. Um, like I said, I can't say too much about the second round. We had the stuff happen with the pad. But I, I know that first round, Rudy seemed like he was winning the neutral game, but you make that one mistake and you let an Alex get in, especially a really good Alex like Suki. That's gonna be it. Uh, Sugi's going in right now. Uh, this is his to lose. Dalsum doesn't do a lot of damage unless you let him get mix up crazy on you. Uh, but let's see if Rudy can pull it back. 
Oh, that corner just taking that chop to the neck all day. And again, that's another round. round two. So, game two, round one goes to Sugi. Uh, Rudy's going to have to figure something out. Uh, like I said at the beginning, I would think that Alex would win this just because of the way that these two characters play. Uh, the more I watch it, the more apparent it seems. So, like I said, Rudy's just going to have to figure this out, uh, find a way to keep him off of him. I mean, with those ch oh, you can't do that. He floats too long. And with these chops, Alex is getting in like nothing. Mm, the headbutt, the stun, and that's it. It's about to be 2 0 Suzy. If I'm Brody, I'm going to take a little rest Alex before wins. this next match starts. Before I retry, think about it a little bit, see what's going on. Things are not going his way. It went even worse than the first match. I'm, I don't see him switching characters. He's always been sim through and through, although I have seen him play Nash before. So I don't know if maybe he's thinking about the switch to Nash. Like I said, he's just going to... Take a look, think it over a little bit before we start this new match. Like I expected, he's gonna stick with Sim here. Let's see what see what we have. Oh, and to start it off, we get to jump in. Uh, no conversion, but definitely not dropping that second one. Rudy trying to push him out. Let's see what he can do. Back to the neutral. Oh, and just like that, back to the corner. That's Alex. In, no good. We're we looking for a teleport here. No, that's it. So one more round. If Suki can take this round, he's gonna take it 3-0 over round Sinister two. X. Um, just watching this, I feel bad. Like I said, this doesn't seem like a really good match for Sim. Okay, there we go. Getting something started. Teleport in. Pushing him to that corner. Oh no. Honestly, in this match, I don't know if I would have went for that teleport in. I actually try to stay away if I can. There we go, just like that. Teleport out. Keep pushing him, keep pushing him. Use those limbs, you have the lead. Ooh, the head, but that stun meter going up. Okay, there we go. Seems like. Oh, just in time, that teleport. Also, it looks like I'm playing next match against Aziz. I don't know how that's going to go. Like I said, I think I think I played before. I think we beat me last time we played. And I'm not too confident in that matchup. But anyway, back to this match. Uh, Rudy looks like he has it. There we go. We just needed the one hit. Takes it. Let's see if he can run it back. That still, if Suki wins one more round, it's still over. Well, let's see we have. Yeah, looking at a possible sweep. If Suki wins this round, that's it. I wasn't expecting a sweep, but... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, hey, Suki, San Antonio, too. He's here, he's here. Yeah. Oh, and... He takes it. I, wow. Is that allowed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, he did deserve that. <laughs> Even he has to smile about that. He, he knows it. He knows it. So guess what, House? We got you up now. Oh, uh, I'm coming. Oh. Verse, say his name, Aziz. 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 Yeah, from Dallas. I think he beat me last when, time we when, played. When, when, so. I said, when I said and I announced y'all play next, everyone's ears perked up. <laughs> so because of that, we know we're streaming this match. We'll so see. We'll see. Come with it. Play your best. All right. Good of luck. Course, Good luck. Course. All right. Oh, are we still. Rudy switching sticks. Switching sticks. Okay. Powering up there. He's saying the sticks is a problem. Okay. The okay. Problem <laughs> LeBron James got the cramps. <laughs> yeah, he, he had to go get some juice real quick and come back. Eric, Eric, you feeling good? You feeling good? You feeling good right now? Just a little bit. It's about to go down. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's over there sweating.
over there talking strategy. Talking it out. Let's get that shit worked uh, out. You got to do that. You got to yeah. do that sometimes. You got to so see here for a reason. He was one round away from being in losers right there. Yeah, yeah. He was halfway home already. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> he had one foot in the car, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just making Sugi wait by himself. Oh, man, he, he don't need nobody behind him. Nah, he he don't need no advice. <laughs> Just sweating and Suki is just cool like the like the other side of the pillow. <laughs> so how long have you been playing, huh? Um I've been playing forever, forever yeah. How Maybe old are you? I'm twenty nine. Okay. Yeah. You look I'm, about nineteen. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I'm not hitting on you no more. Like <laughs> no, I, I start I, I grew up in Japan because I was a military oh, really? kid, yeah. Okay. So I played there for a little bit. I, I, was like, I guess everyone, not, not to sound stereotypical, but everyone played the fighters and the street fighters. And the, I guess back then, street fighters, Mortal Kombat was good back then. Yeah. Like Tekken, of course. Of course, yeah. Everyone that was, Tekken I think then. that was the first game I started playing competitively with Tekken. That, that was a big game. Mm -hmm. And it's still big now, which is kind of crazy. When the Tekken 7 came out, I was like, oh, it's good. That's and, one um, of the OGs. They never came out with woodwork. Yeah. the hell the woodwork. Grandparents, this is match, huh? same characters. Rudy switched sticks, so I'm expecting domination here if that was the problem. Yeah, he got a dominate. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know, he's he's been, there's a problem on that other side of the screen, which is Sugi. Sugi's been getting in, getting him in the corner and he doesn't have an answer yet, so we'll see. The thing is, Rudy keeps trying to get in and mix him up, but once he makes that one mistake and he gets knocked down, he gets in this corner, he, he's facing problems and he doesn't, he doesn't have a way of getting out. Yep. One more hit and that's a stun. Oh, great block in the overhead. Great use of the super by Rudy. Create some space. There we go. Keep him off. See, I don't know if I, I keep teleporting in on him like that. I'm expecting Sugi to try and do a jump EX headbutt at some point. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what Rudy needs to do right there. Keep him at a distance. No teleporting in. No trying to mix him up. Oh, hey, that worked. Never mind. Never mind. Don't listen to me. Rudy knows this character way more than I do. Don't listen to me. Okay. <laughs> Rudy, all he has to do is win one more and even tie it up. Maybe he can do like Lacquerhead earlier and come back after being down 2-0. Oh, great use getting out of that corner, getting that pressure off of him. Oh, great use of V-reversal by Sugi. What's he going to go for right here? Mm, the power bomb. I'm expecting another one. I'm seeing another power bomb coming. No, no. Oh, he lets him out. He backs off. Okay. Great use by Rudy. Mix-ups incoming. Do we have any more teleports coming? Yeah. Okay. Create some space. Uh, if Suki gets one hit, this can be it. If we get a power bomb. Oh. He was going for it. Got him. Got him mid blow. This is it. So two things are going to happen. This is match point, and Sugi takes it, or Rudy wins this round and ties it up 2-2. Two, two. What do you think, Hal? Who's going to get it? I don't know. Uh, Rudy's an OG, so I'm always going to go with Sinister X. I got to go with Sinister South Side. Yeah, Sinister, yeah, he has those nerves. Yeah. Uh, see, like I said, I don't think this match is too favorable for him. Exactly. Oh, he's too floaty. Puts himself in the corner. That wasn't good right there. He messed something up. Okay, there we go. Creating that space again. Just keep chip him out. Use those limbs. Oh. B trigger. This is the mix up right here. This can decide it. What's Sugi gonna do? Oh. Rudy with the grab creates his space, teleports out. I like that. Yep. That should be it. Teleport. Oh. Parries him. Oh. 
Oh, and the punish. That got, was beautiful. Got the I don't care. I don't care if Suki lost. That was beautiful. Yeah, so we're 2-2 two, we're two, two, two right now. Is that correct? Yep, 2-2. Two, two. After being down 2-0, oh, Rudy ran it back for two. This is it. Can we see our second run back here? <laughs> <laughs> what happened with you over there, Ken? 1-3-0. Uh, oh. Three oh. Christian Ken reporting the victory. Three. And, uh, and all the oh. quick victory. We only seen one match in a remote switch, and all of a sudden Ken is back. Yeah. How how was how was DSB Ken? Um. Be honest. Be honest. Be honest. Uh, Worthy. Okay. Get in there. Who's he playing with? No, who was the DSB player? Oh, but, yeah, so, the match, oh, we have Christian Kim coming to say here. I don't know if you've seen any other matches. Sugi uh, started off, won the first two, 2-0. Two Rudy ran it back. Now it's 2-2. Two, two. Oh, wow. So, this is the last match. We have Rudy yeah. also switched sticks, so. Okay. <laughs> that could be, you know, his power up. Power up. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That power up. Okay, so, one of the, this really, this is even worse than it looks. Because mm -hmm. Sugi's got that meter. Um, dang. Christian Kim back up to play. Just, Comes out to sit I'm on Kamator. Come, Terry. <laughs> he wants to finish this match. Dang, that dedication. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, he has to go. But I, I, I'm going to stick with you, stream. You know I love you guys. So you guys better root for me to win this next match. Anyway. Let's see. Oh, Sugi with the power bomb. Let's see what mix up. Oh, the headbutt. Oh, another one. That's something I would have did right there. I like that. I like that. The anti-air there by Sinister. He doesn't want to catch anything. Just let him burn. Nice footsies right there. Take those limbs, that foot to the face. Oh, another foot to the face. Let's see. Sugi trying to find a way in. I do know it's hard trying to find a way in on Rudy. Oh, caught a limp. If anyone coughs on anyone, the other one's dead. I don't know. Oh. Let's see. This is nerve wracking right here. Oh. And Suki takes it 3 2 over Sinister X. So no commentator stepped up. So this is Ryujin82 on commentary. Don't know anything about this game, but I gotta commentate for Flash House. I don't know who this is, but he's been sitting next to me for the past hour commentating all of his lonesome. Sometimes it'll help, sometimes not. Looks like Flash House is playing Akali. You have Aziz Sensei playing Laura. And right now, Flash House is going in. He said to me that he was the first ever Texas goal tag for Gods of Louisiana. And apparently, he played them so much in tournament, and maybe ran through them so much in tournament that they he took his tag. He didn't just he doesn't just take the heads of his opponents. He takes their tag. Goal Flash House. Took that first round it looked like. Sensei working on some pressure here but gets poked out and letting Flash House just kinda get in on him. Free jumps here for Flash House. The pace of the match so far has been all house. Sorry about that, I am back. Wrong names, you're right. Wait, what are you saying? What are you saying? I see Sensei's playing Nakali? No way, really? Well, let me update the score then. Nakali did win that first match. So actually, Gold Flash House is playing Laura, and he's down. Thank you, Yatsune. Thank you. Again, I don't know anything about the game. 
but nobody here stepped up to commentate. So again, I'm trying to do it for my boy Flash House. But it looks like Sensei playing the Kali now. Ooh, that was a good round for Flash House. Trying to get something started. Sensei's pressing a lot of good buttons, though. And Nikali can be a dominant character, especially when he gets his V-Skill going. Don't want to let him do that. But even now, Sensei's showing he doesn't need the V-Skill. Oh, wow, he shouldn't have pressed a button. If you saw him in the air, why'd you press a button? Grab. No tech. Wow, look at the Oki and the pressure now from Flash House. He just needed a round to warm up. Like I said, he's been commentating so long, he's cold. Looks like he's warm up now. Laura wins. That was quick. Let's see what adjustment Sensei can make. Something happened. I think maybe they're playing the wrong players. I don't know. In any case, though, whatever they, whatever happened, they're they're playing it through. Maybe that interruption in the momentum was what uh, Sensei needed. He's got some momentum going. Get hit by their overhead though. Claws his way in. Still has corner position. Wow. Now he's getting hit by everything. Flash House just brought it back just like that. Is it updated though? Is it updated though? Yeah. Oh. So what are you telling me? Oh, all right. <clears throat> Get out of here. There's green ones laying around everywhere. You see the green cables laying around? Those are for to sync up. Yep. For some reason, even though I'm streaming, people think I'm in charge. And I actually know what's going on, but I don't. Either way, though, we're tied in games and tied in rounds. Gold Flash House, Laura versus Aziz Sensei Nikali. Uh, let's see, where are we at in the bracket, too? I don't even know. This is actually round three, so saturate because I did not update that. It is round three. Again, getting hit by the overhead. Sensei might have some matchup and experience here. Flash House is just styling all over him. Backs up into the corner, grabs again. You can't take a grab, you're gonna die in any fighting game. And uh, Flash House took that one. It's 2 1 Flash House. Looks like uh, I'm going to get a character switch from Sensei. I don't know if that's what's going to save him at this time. So this is uh, round three, winner's quarters. In winner's sem semis, we have uh, Takuya Sugi waiting. He will play the winner of this match, of this round, or this set, excuse me. And then also on the other side of winner's semis, we have Jan versus... Rach. I don't think we've seen, I don't know how you say that, but I don't think we've seen him yet. Say again? It's the Twitch name. Yep. 
Alright, so since they switched to Guile, a character that we see a lot of, if you uh, follow Street Fighter V competitively, you see a lot of Guile. What did Knuckle do? He really made his name there with Guile. We'll see how this changes the matchup for Flash House. Maybe they picked a Guile so he doesn't have to uh, go in as hard. We're going to have someone join me on commentary. I'm actually going to hop off. Like I said, I don't know this game at all. But go ahead and introduce yourself. Alright, alright. What do we got? Wow. Z-Sensei is up 2-1. I'm oh, sorry. Flash House is up 2-1 against Z-Sensei. I was a little surprised. Um, Z-Sensei has definitely practiced at this game. Um, but uh, it looks like this Guile might be working out for him. Do now, that's for sure. Guile wins. I don't know who Aziz might have started here. I would have made the assumption of the Kali, but uh, Round one. Fight. Let's see. to commentate on it. One thing that might make this matchup a little bit easier now for uh, Alex is the fact that he's uh, like a little slash and he's safe. So that's going to make too much of a difference. Oh no, where's the, where's the special move? Round two. Fight. 
wish I could speak for why this matchup was Surprisingly slow match, all things considered. Not expected to be very aggressive on one side or the other. Nice. Mix ups. Oh no, they're getting close to far. Wow. Ooh. Oh, I can't help. I can't help but feel that he could have done something more. Nice, uh, nice, uh, nice hair jack of trade. Final Worth round. Sure. Fight. Part of what sucks for Alex here is, uh, nice hair jack is that it's a uh, little trade with maybe jump around house, but that trade is not in his favor. So it's, you know, you almost have to block it. Round one. Fight. Okay. I'm be sure the adjustment is soon. Uh, stands in a good range. Uh, although he can choose where his stomp or grab is going to go with his version. Um, he has to choose between two different spots. And if you stand in between one of those, it's really frustrating. Um, you know, it's tough for the Alex player to And that's exactly what he's The light roll is. Wake up super. You can't I kind of expect it. Um, you can get some kind of out there. Just don't stop. Nice round house into close line. That is the, the round for sure. Final round. Fight. Asugi's really going to need this round. He doesn't want to have to win three matches in a row. More, but you know, it's hard to react to that. So, uh, nice spacing for the roundhouse there. Ooh, there he is. He's uh, Wow. Not unusual. This is going to be really difficult for uh, to come back from this. It's not a good hit. It's possible. Not 
put yourself in this position. So jump around toss those. Uh, punish. Yep, yeah. Too little too late. Is he sensei up to a big win? Series there. Got a, did about 40 percent, and uh, I'm get the stun. Man. Nice job. Oh, could have got a combo, but you didn't expect that. Yes. Whip throw. Ooh. Okay, that's good. You really need. To Can't count on the next round. Final round. As he said, as he says, it does have a damage here as well. He doesn't want to take that, that trade. But he seems to be taking the air a more now. Nice, uh, nice setup there. Jump out to the punch. Um, and sim with low health is just bad news. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I don't think I've actually seen this matchup yet, so um, I'm curious to see how this goes. Yeah, two characters you don't really see a lot, that's for sure. Yeah, well, I mean, you just don't see Alex much at all anymore. <laughs> and even though, like, it, Urian's interesting because everyone, like, pretty much agrees that he has a strong character. But he, uh, not really good like a So, um, you know, you're gonna see the matchup. That was a very good uh, uh, parry there. There's one thing that Sugi has that is so loud. Yeah, that was interesting. Did that parry go through? Well, the, the, the way the parry works is you parry hits. Right. Oh, like oh, went, oh, you're talking about the. the it, went, like it went through right there. Yeah, yeah. Well, basically what happened. Well, basically what happened there is. Uh, oh, this is disgusting. Um, basically what happened there is the clothesline, it moves so fast. That, okay. Um, when Urian was invincible, he was invincible, and then he got passed through, and I got then it. the headbutt would actually get. Him. I got so it. So they just went through each other. So the he has invincibility frames like, on that move. Say what? He has invincibility frames on that move. Um, on the EX headbutt. Yeah, okay. That's his. That's his wake up option. That's his got it. Um, and uh, he probably meant to actually hit him out of the clothesline. Right. But as as it turned out, it was too fast. Both just got out. Right. You know, it was good for him because he got out of the corner though. So. It was worth it, but but the thing with the clothesline is you can punish it. Um, the only thing is when you fully charge the clothesline, it's unblockable. So like it's a little bit like watching that. You know, be careful. Um, the thing is you can you can stop it consistently though because you can, what you can do is you wait for the clothesline, and when they wait long enough, it's up. There you go. Um, wait, what you do with the clothesline is uh, um, as they're fully charging it. They're, they're either going to release early, in which case you just sit there and block and punch away, or they go for the full clothesline, and you can actually hit him out of the clothesline. Right. So, like, I do that pretty consistently. I'm surprised that it's people do it more. <laughs> I just wait. And eventually, he has to release because he can't stop the move. Right. See, that was the best option. So, he got crushed out of that. Uh, this huge combo. Yep. Yeah. It's 50 50. Oh, we dropped yeah. it. 
See, see, that's the thing. He waited. Okay. And the thing is, if he did, if he waits any longer than that, then he does the close line. So that wasn't so max. I do. Well, we can. I do back medium punch and then target combo, and uh, it's pretty consistent. Um, you know, I would rather go for it, and hit him 90 percent of the time, and maybe mess up and get hit. It's still worth it. Dirty. I don't even know how to call that. It is just dirty. Uh, walls well, on walls. I mean, the thing is, you just have to watch the overhead, but it's, it's, it's hard to look for everything. Right. Um, because he might just walk up and throw you. You know? <laughs> if he walks up and throws you, um, you know, depending on the situation, how much meter he has, etc., um, he'll throw you into the reflector. You bounce out and he can combo you. Right. Not like a full combo, but it's something. Right. But he gets more reward off the overhead, and it's safe with the reflector out there. He does it. Head is doing pretty well here. It seems really comfortable. Um, another thing that I think part of the reason that this matchup might be also hard is Alex is really easy to mix up. His defensive options are cool. Um, and he is going to pull it Yeah, like, was, you know, he could have hit him out of that, but it's, it's hard. At least he got out of the corner there. Right, that's actually that was really important. But he, uh, uh, he had an opportunity for big damage and he missed it. See, okay. Yeah, what he's looking for is he can turn that, throw him back in the corner. And, uh. All right. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, like, it's a 50 50. The thing is, like, he went for a command grab there, but he actually could have just comboed him and stunned him. You know? Uh, but maybe he wasn't expecting that to actually, like, hit. You know? Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a 50 50 because you. He's either going to throw you or he's going to hit you. Um, Although, you know, Yurian can wake up with the headbutt, but then if he does nothing, you lose. Uh, lucky for Alex there, switch sides, but... Yeah, he's got that jump, that Crouching Fierce Empire free up point. The, uh, there's not much Yurian, uh, Alex is going to be able to do against that. His jump uh, don't have a really good priority. Yeah, but now we have a stone on the other side. Yeah, um, and the thing is, Yurian, I mean, he's good. The only thing Alex can do to like change his jump trajectory really is use that like dive. But right. It's unsafe on block. Sorry, <laughs> I actually hit my mic there. Um, it's unsafe on block, and uh, uh, you know you won't even hit him. But Sugi does get the hit with the low. Confirms in a combo. Yeah, the thing is like as soon as we get started, like. You know, Oh, uh, see, so he actually parried that hit there, but he, he didn't parry the next hit. Okay. Yeah, he was. The thing is, like, you can parry those hits, but once I hit moves, it can be tough for Alex to, like, you know, you really have to be on point and know what you're parrying. Yeah, that's not always good. Oh, we got hit by the overhead. Yeah, it was too far from the dude. Ooh. The space, the, the dive. Yeah, it looked like he wasted a bar there. Yeah, it was basically a waste of meters, but, um, wow. There you go. Sugi. I'm about to see Sugi on tilt here. Yeah, I'm not sure how. You know, it might be a bad matchup. I don't know, but um, I'm also wondering how familiar Sugi is or is not with it. Um, he doesn't seem very comfortable with trying to mix up Yuri. Okay. Um, He's going to the jump a little bit too much. I think he should. Uh, I think he should probably uh, mix in a little bit more uh, stamina. You know, beat some of the main buttons. Uh, push the uh, air with button. Uh, at least, uh, Tried to uh, punish that jump. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, he got a hit anyway. He's got that. Man, that's a really early D trigger. Good stop. Oh, no, this could go. He's gonna put sides here. Yeah. Yep, and, he's gonna set up the for the and it looked like to me that Lacquer was mashing. Say but what? looked like to me Lacquer was mashing that uh, well, that it, low. No, he was actually. Um, oh wow! Incredible. That's gotta hurt for Sumi. Uh, what he was doing was crouching light kick on both sides. Right. It's a low, and like the thing is, what, what what a lot of people will do is they'll they'll walk forward on their wake up, but they won't. But then they'll start holding back to block reversals. Right. So they're trying to just trying to block the headbutt, for example. I'm not saying this is ha that happened here. I'm just saying, right. for example, you walk back, you go for the low because you're going to catch them walking back. And put the feet oh, low. okay, okay. So, okay. He's, so sometimes you'll anticipate them walking, walking low. Do short, short, oh, it hit. 
the, uh, okay, so the second short, did that link to the first short? Yeah, yeah. You, okay, you, okay, you so he, 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 he hit confirmed. Short. Oh, he hit. Got and it. And then, then you do a reflector. So he confirmed it. Damn, it's over. Yeah, it's over for Sugi, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Lacquer advances in the bracket, guaranteeing at least fourth place. Um, excluding maybe F Champ, because the F Champ travels, and obviously he's really good Dalsim. Of course. Like, Mochi is. Almost everyone agrees that he's pretty much the best Dalsim. Okay. I've never seen them two play, so I don't know. You know, I can't speak for, like, who's the best at another two. But, like, if you to Wakino Champ, Mochi, you know. Pretty much everyone knows he's the best. Now have to check out Mochi. tournaments. So, like, how do you, how do, you do Right. You know? I understand. His skill is recognized. But right now we have Lacquerhead back on right. and Jan. So, the, the, the thing is, Lacquerhead lost 3 0 last time. Um, I'm wondering what adjustments he made. Oh, you're oh, right, oh. earlier in the bracket. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think Jan might have some experience in this match. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it might just be footsies, because that was really good distance uh, oh, for no, that no, punish. Oh, no, no, Jan's a player. Yeah, double, yeah. I'm just saying that, like, I think I heard him say later. Oh, okay. Like, after the match, like, he plays so and so a lot. Okay, okay, okay. But, like, the thing is, Yuri is one of those characters that is going to rock your world. You right. You don't have some idea of how to fight. You have to practice that matchup. Yeah. And the thing is, like, you can say that for a lot of characters, but, like, you know, if I jump in and fight for you, it's pretty much the same from game to game. You know, like, you have some idea going in. Mm -hmm. Yuri and, like, you need to understand how to mix up your work. Right. In order to get this I understand. The funny thing is, I would think that Urian would actually do better in this matchup. But, uh, Birdie is far from the Texas. Ooh, nice jump. Uh -huh, yeah, that was a little hard. early for Jan. Yeah. Uh, he's using that low forward a lot on, on like, the game. Counter crushing the KO. Crush Jeb after it. But, uh, and that's his best, that's gonna be the best he can do right but uh, I think you should maybe go to the low a little less. It has to really be Wow. Nice fall out of the fireball. And the uh, patience on wake up there. Nice headbutt. Oh, he needed to go in now. Now he's going in now. Yeah. Oh, he oh, backed up just in time. He got more, yeah. Charging it up. He, he didn't anticipate that. Anytime you get that charged fireball out there, that, that really is that really is really helpful. Nice. Ooh. Jan is really on point. Yeah, he's, he's an interesting player. I don't know if he's quite like him. But I'll put it this way, he's pretty much a threat to every place. You know, based on all these uh, low-tier uh, characters we're seeing, I'm surprised we don't see more Bison today, or more Fang today. Um. Or is it Zangief? Is there a Zangief player here? I don't think there's a Geef player here today. I don't think there's a Fong player either. Um, I know we had one Bison player, but um, I don't know how to beat him. It's okay. It's refreshing to not see uh, a tournament, you know, run by Kami's and and you know the Guiles and the Mikas. Yeah, I think yeah, I, I think part of that year is just yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, like like I'm like. Well, I mean, they're just not here, but like, that's precisely a point. <laughs> right. Yeah. Although there was three Kens. I thought that was kind of funny. Oh, there were three? I thought there were two. Wow. Yeah, my, me and my first two matches were against other Ken players. Oh, okay. I yeah. see. Wow, I that's... I player, and then I lost to uh, Dyke. Like, I see. But, uh... I can see why... Uh, I... Yeah. Wow. wow, he didn't get hit by the mirror. I think Lacquerhead had extended his hurt box. That was, that was definitely a scramble. But yeah. Like, like it, it seems to me like Lacquerhead's a little bit familiar. I mean, that's just my personal assessment. I mean, like, like, I can't help but feel that there's a lot of situations where the, uh, there's, there's better options for me than what's going on. Right. He did. Oh man. He pulled it out of somewhere. Guy. Wherever he pulls those mirrors from, he pulled out that W. Oh. 
Yeah, they nerfed the recovery on that, so it's. Uh, he probably is used to doing that in four, uh, right. four five. Right. So used to do that, and it, the whip recovery is really fast. Okay, well, Jan took complete advantage of that. He knows. Yeah. But they gave it like ten more frames of recovery, so that gave him way more time to whip punish it. He might have been able to block before. It's hard to say. But those changes matter. They do. I think that's, I think that's one of those changes. People were talking about some of those other changes. Because um, you already got like four nerfs. Um, you got a health nerf. The DX tackle is minus two and one like, pushback um, on block. Um, four, it was even. And uh, both forward is now minus two and plus two on block. And uh, the one that I think a lot of people overlooked was. Uh, the whip recovery. The whip recovery on EX said, yeah. If you do like neutral jump and like not punish him, he would actually. You know, okay, yeah. Because you try to bait a throw or something. Right. Yeah. Ooh, that was that was nice. Yeah. Man, the funny thing is, I'm watching this. Likerhead's technically winning. Mm hmm. But it doesn't feel. It doesn't like, look like it. Yeah, it, it, uh, it feels like. It feels like. Jan's feeling better. I mean, I feel like, like you said earlier, when Urien gets started and he gets all those hits, I mean, it's yeah. kind of over, you know? Yeah, I don't know. But Jan's definitely playing a better neutral. Yeah, like, I, I can definitely tell him he's at least, you know, if not more familiar with the matchup, um, I think he's Ooh. playing it better. But, but okay. I don't know if I can just make it work. Oh, I didn't block the wake up. Yeah, I see. Whoa. That's a little interesting, because if you, get, you can get that. If you can get that EX headbutt, they'll, they'll bounce into the reflector. That's a lot, so. Uh, nice. Give it a couple of yeah. Yeah. Antaring, Antaring Birdie looks a little difficult because all he really, all really has is the track to it. And the thing is, Birdie can mix up the jump medium kick or, or jump around house. And then it has a uh, sizably different. Uh, Hitboxes. Ooh. Oh wow, I'm surprised that he can kill. Wow. That same medium punch is really active. Um, I think he clipped him there for sure. Wow. 2 1. I'm I'm a little surprised. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I don't know how he keeps pulling it out, but he's got the clutch factor. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel something. like he's like yeah. winning. <laughs> we should just change the score. Let's reverse it. <laughs> Round one. But I'm glad he, he definitely made some adjustments. So do you know if Jan went to his Texas Showdown? I have no idea. I'm, I make two tournaments every year. One of them is Showdown, and one of them is AB. I didn't make Showdown. Oh, you didn't make Showdown. Yeah. Wow. Um, oh, wow. That's the. He told me about that. How he caught, he's been catching people with that a lot lately. With uh, He gets the you know, Crush Counter Stand Fierce, Jack Forward, Charge Roundhouse, and people just don't block that over. Mm. So like he gets another like three to get on his combo. Um, and people get hit by it, and we see it right there. This is the perfect time to bring it out. Um, nice. That was good. That was really good from Lacquerhead. That was, uh, yeah, he just sailed over the can and safe on block. Um, he still puts himself in a bad situation, but he has such a big life lead. Right. Okay. So, and it is set point for Lacquerhead. Now, now. now, this definitely <laughs> looks like he's, like, you know, like right. winning, like dominating. This is Yuri in right here. He's in full control right now. Yeah, for sure. Honestly, that's the biggest hit he's gotten in the world. Yeah, I mean, his health's already gone. It's been seven seconds. Yeah, right? <laughs> That'd be reversal. Ooh, nice headbutt. Ooh. Oh, he yeah, did it that, that was time. A little, little yeah. miscalculated. If, if he probably should have just uh, walked in. Ooh, he got the hit? Two hits. Oh, no. He gets fixed up like this. Another oh, one. He didn't. That was good. Wow, he countered on the quick rise. And he didn't quick rise. That's the worst way to go. You know, you just threw yourself on the, on the spear there. Let's get Lacquerhead and Reich.